Hello community, welcome ladies and gentlemen. Today, today we have the Battle of the Titans. Today we have Matt Prompter from Microsoft Research fighting against GPT-4 in the Bing version versus our GPT-4 code interpreter from our beloved little 49% company owned by Microsoft, OpenAI. So who has the best mathematical performance? So here we go, Matt Prompter, a fantastic endeavor by Microsoft Research. They trained here an LLM specifically here for mathematics. Unbelievable, full, clever. They have here an input query, they generate a template, then they have mathematical prompts and LLM generates here the Python code, and then they run it several times and then they evaluate, and then we have the perfect mathematical answer. And you might say, well, wait, wait, wait just a second. So they use a zero shot chain of thought prompting technique. They run on multiple times on the same uh, expression just to generate different algebraic expression or Python function and then compare and calculate the compatibility, the probability, which is the best function. Yes, this is exactly what they're doing. And yes, exactly. It is summertime and it has 38 degrees Celsius in my room and I have no climate control. So here we go. And you will not believe it, but Microsoft achieved a 92.5% performance on a multi arithmetic data set with this highly precision driven, fine tuned, optimized, beautiful, mathematical optimized uh, LLM by Microsoft. Okay, there might be some limitation, but uh, yes, of course. So they are running the mat prompter multiple times in different ways to increase the accuracy of the results. So this means you have one simple mathematical problem and remember Euler or Descartes, they had a mathematical problem and they didn't sit down to find one correct solution. No, they said, hey, let's calculate 10, 20, 30 different calculations and then we just yeah, we rolled the dice, which of the calculation has the highest probability density in the Hilbert space. And this is then the solution we have in mathematics. And this is exactly what happened here with Microsoft Research. It is unbelievable. A combination of algebraic and phytonic expression here. They have the potential to produce some incorrect, <coughs> some, some, some incorrect results. Uh, just a second. Yes, some incorrect results. Even if the prompt output match its other, this is the fail case as shown. Oh yeah. So increasing the number of prompts will mitigate this issue. And Microsoft is currently investigating. Yes, they are investigating better techniques. So can they can address this issue in a more principled in a more principled manner. manner. <laughs> so they are working on it. It will be get better. So now that we have here this fantastic marketing uh, uh, information leaflet from Microsoft, I think now is the time to have simply some performance tests that we can do. So let's have a look and let's see which system has the best performance. So here we are with my beloved Microsoft Bing and I have here this exact question. Jerry was helping the cafeteria worker pick up lunch trays but he would only carry eight trays at a time. If he had to pick up nine trays from table one and seven trays from table two, how many trips will he make? And here we have here Bing Chat GPT, GPT for Super Microsoft coming up with, what is the solution? What we have here, uh, he would make two trips. This is the right answer, two trips, because he would pick up uh, eight trays from the first table, yes, and one tray from the second table. He would pick up the remaining six trays from the second table on the second trip. This is, uh, this is completely wrong. He can carry eight trays at a time. So, uh-oh. So you see, the seven trays on the second table, they mixed it up completely. And the argument is on the second trip, he would pick up the remaining six trays from the second table. But on the second table, there are seven trays plus one tray from the first table. So it is the right answer. It is the wrong argumentation. Therefore, this answer is officially wrong. Bing is out. This is a wrong answer. Great. So next question, an easier one. Each chocolate bar costs, 
In a box cost three bucks. If a box had nine bars total and Wendy sold all but three bars, how much money would she have made? This is now an extremely complicated calculation and the answer is 18. So beautiful. Bing got this right. You know, it's amazing. This is also GPT-4 in Bing. So why did it fail the first time? But whatever the, the reason is, now we are coming up here to the masterpiece. Caleb bought 14 boxes of chocolate candy and gave five to his little brother. If each box has six pieces inside, how many pieces did Caleb still have? And now the answer is 54 and Bing comes up with 64. Oh, oh. And here we have exactly now GPT-4, code interpreter, and here we go. You know our three example. In the meantime, by heart, the first one should have the result of 18 bucks. Let's see what GPT-4 code interpreter is coming up. It was released about also in springtime, so the same time Bing was uh, released. And here this math prompter from Microsoft was released, GPT-4. Uh, code interpreter was released in alpha release, now it is in beta release. 18, we have to write answer. Second question. Jerry helping the cafeteria worker to pick up the lunch trays, so we're looking forward that the answer is two trays. Two, two ways, two ways. Yes, I need to make, let's calculate this. We have now starting a Python calculation. If we would click on show work, we would see the Python code. Do we want to click on this? No, it is too, too, too fascinating. Done. Yes, it is done. The Python program finished and two trips. Second correct answer. Beautiful. This is it. And now, ladies and gentlemen, you know, there's only one question left. This is the most difficult one that even the math prompter from Microsoft got completely wrong. So let's see what comes up. This is the question and we are looking for our answer 54. So Microsoft Research failed here on this particular task. Let's see if this little startup called OpenAI is able to solve it with their GPT-4 model that they also provide here to Microsoft. 54 pieces of chocolate candy. This is the right answer. So the little company OpenAI achieved 100% success rate, a hundred percent score on answering this three question that the math prompter failed, especially the last one, it failed to answer this. And I do not want to talk about Bing GPT-4. So there you have it, the best large language model for mathematical operations that are very simple is currently GPT-4 code interpreter from OpenAI.